Hi, I'm Sujata. Welcome to my channel Cook Better with Suj. There's nothing better than a home cooked tomato chutney recipe. When you pick tomatoes from your own farm, which are organically grown, and some of them are green in color and some of them are red and so fresh. This is when you get inspired to do the spicy, yummy tomato chutney. Look at the ingredients needed to make this tomato chutney. 2 kgs of tomatoes, 150 grams of red chilies, which are badige chilies, about 25 grams of mustard seeds, 25 grams of methi seeds, oil about 50 grams, 50 grams of tamarind, about 10 grams of turmeric, 50 grams of jaggery, salt to taste. We'll start off the recipe by soaking tamarind in hot water. Allow the tamarind to soak for about 10 minutes in hot water. Take these tomatoes and chop them into halves. Later we are going to put them into food processor and puree them. Make them into bigger chunks like this. Take these chopped tomatoes into a food processor. Blend the entire mixture. Put half of your oil, put the entire tomato mixture that you have pureed into this oil. Put the salt and the jaggery that you have uh, kept aside. Put the turmeric. Squeeze the tamarind which is soaked in the hot water and remove the extracts. Put the squeezed tamarind pulp into the entire mixture. Allow it to cook till the entire mixture reduces in volume because it, the water inside this gets absorbed and also gets evaporated. As the tomatoes are getting cooked, we are going to look at the dry spice powder recipe which go into this mixture in the later stages and that gives it the pickled taste. Keep the flame to a very minimum and put the oil into the wok, about 1 tablespoon of oil. Put the mustard seeds, put the methi seeds. Put the red chilies. Oreo jungle. And in a low flame, fry it all together. Fry the entire mixture for about two to three minutes, and you can smell the aroma coming through. Take this fried mixture into this small mixy jar. and grind to a fine paste. To all my friends in the far west, don't think this chilli is very spicy. It's just a red chilli which gives you that warm colour. And there's a special chilli called Badige chilli which is found in Karnataka. Take the ground mixture and put the entire mixture of this dry spice powder into the tomato. Every grain of this dry spice powder is very valuable for your chutney. So don't waste any of that. Put the boiling tomato mixture into this mixy jar and then pour it back in to get all the spice into the wok. Cook the entire mixture with the spices that you've added. It's very important to boil this mixture as the harshness of the spices come down. Mm -hmm. 
as you cook this entire mixture the water evaporates and the oil surfaces and that's when you know your tomato chutney is getting ready always taste as you cook along you can adjust the salt or the sweetness of the chutney as you go along let's taste this oh this is heaven I hope you loved learning how to make this tomato chutney. I thoroughly enjoyed it teaching it to you. It's taken me decades to learn and master cooking skills. But I promise you out there if you understand the ingredients and the combination of ingredients how they work and enrich the flavors of your dish. You're taking your cooking skills to the next level. Enjoy your cooking. The tomato chutney in a jar.